Welcome back to Ringworm. So a few months ago I had an idea. I'll show it to you now. Yep. What's it look like to you? Uh-huh. Yep. That's definitely a muff. Damn it. I'm right into this other project. I got a whole bag of uh, exercise rubber bands that I thought, I don't know, I brought out here for no reason. I don't haven't used them in forever and they're just sitting in a box. So I thought it'd be fun to make some kind of a slingshot. But now I'm thinking like a slingshot bowling alley and I cut big old chunks. I don't know how strong I could get it. I got a lot of them. I guess I could string tons of different colors and sizes and everything together and put some kind of a, I don't know what you call that, like a pocket in the middle of it. Maybe duct tape, probably duct tape and see how far we could shoot these. Yes, it must be done. I wonder how big of one of these I could shoot. Well, I could probably, I could make one of these five times that big and launch it. Yeah, this is gonna be fun for sure. <laughs> that will use up all of these. Should be great to get rid of. Or there are plenty of these around. That would be a little bit quicker and easier, wouldn't it? So I got this uh, whole pile of different kinds of rubber, mostly exercise band. Uh, I don't know, all sorts of stuff that stretches. I'm gonna try to make a giant slingshot. And I just grabbed these two trees here. They seem like maybe the right distance apart. And I've got a nice long trail going down there about almost a hundred yards. I have no idea how far I could get it to shoot, but I've been wanting to do this for a while. I've got uh, the tube stuff, exercise, bands. i got the flat bands. I don't know if these will hold up. I guess they're still good. Maybe I could tie them together. I don't know. Let's just see what happens. Perfect. Just to do chokers on the trees. Maybe grab some carabiners or something like that. Eh. I don't know, I would assume it would work best if they're the same on both sides. I'm not really sure that's going to be possible. This is just a test anyway. I figure living out here in the woods like this, I need some kind of defense, you know, in case the herd of Sasqu Sasquai? Sasquatches come after me, I can uh, run out here in my whitey tighties and blast them with a ripe melon or you know, some kind of appropriate ammunition. That's 
that's a little more better. These would certainly be the easiest. Just take these handles off and use all of them. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> that is a serious lot of pressure. Oh, it's terrifying. <laughs> Huh. Well, might have to start with that. Make some kind of pocket on here. I've got the roll of Gorilla tape. That might work. I mean, I'd ideally like to have, not put the pocket in the middle of this thing, but have this on either side. Unfortunately, I don't have a single band out of like 15 or 20 here that match. So I don't know how I'm going to mismatch them on each side and make it work right. Don't need all that air resistance or we won't be able to maim anyone properly with this. I would prefer to do this on the picnic table, but I have two fires going, burning brush, and it is way too smoky. I think I've probably shortened my life in the last few days from all the smoke inhalation. Actually, since this probably won't, won't work, I think I'll start with cheaper duct tape. Maybe that'd be big enough to start. Start shooting something small and work up. See if it even works. I feel pretty confident this isn't going to work at all. I feel like a uh, four-year-old trying to make a slingshot. <laughs> no offense to the four-year-olds. Four you think that'll hold something? Let's find out. It's just a test. You know what? I'm taking these big heavy carabiners off here. I'll put some little uh, keychain ones on because I don't really need this in my teeth. Yeah, that's less uh, dental damaging. <laughs> See what I, never mind. Oh man, this is terrifying already. I know what you're thinking, Ryan, go big, go real big the first time. And to that I say, uh-uh. This just isn't like, Let's try a stick. Oh my gosh, this is really scary for some reason. I'm gonna blast that uh, little driveway light off right there. Oh, so scary. Nope. Yeah, I can clearly see why this is not gonna work because we got the, like a light band here and a middle band here. So I think it's just gonna make it twist every time. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, no, no crap. I saw that before you even did it. You guys always, wait to speak up well clearly we're gonna need some ammunition here let's see what size should we start with that's pretty heavy cut that in half and thirds how about some chunks of these maybe they're kind of waterlogged, but it's got to at least be able to heft half of one of these, which would be a few pounds. Otherwise, how are we ever going to do any damage, you know? These are kind of perfect for long distance. If I can get this figured out. Four. 
Oh yeah, I'm definitely. Wow, I'm going a long ways. Almost broke my light. Just gotta give get one good shot and see how far it'll go as it is to judge kind of how much needs to be added on to make this really fun. <laughs> Well, it wasn't too bad. I have to figure something else out here. I think I can make this work. It is definitely not the right way to have them set up like this, but I think I'm going to make a bigger pouch out of this with a handle on it. And then maybe I'll cut some of these in half and put half on either side. Make like a loop out of that. Put it on that side to get some extra length and then maybe go to the next one and the next one. I don't know. You know what? I'm overthinking it. Hope I didn't get uh, too fancy here with my duct tapery. Got some loops, which will probably break. Hmm. Who knows? Let's just keep complexifying it. See what happens. If it's not going to work, it should at least be complicated. All right, it's getting weirder and weirder. So what does that add? Another foot, foot and a half once, once it's stretched to the whole thing. And rather than having carabiners in the middle to smash me in the face, tie the uh, tubes to there with a little loop. Ah. Uh. <laughs> What do you think? Very bizarre contraption. And if it actually works, I think I'm gonna keep Daisy chaining on more bands just to make it shoot further and further, but we better do a quick test. What do you think my chances are? Is this gonna work? Look at this Gorilla Tape madness. Pretty bizarro, huh? Don't know if it'll hold. It's a double layer on both of these. Not saying that means anything, but yeah, I don't, I think something's going to blow out. Let's try it. Oh, well, more power you say? Okay. Let's just try a little more power then. Oh, oh, <laughs> it's coming along. Little more height, little more power. Coming along, coming along. Here we go. Oh. Can't believe this isn't ripped yet. That gorilla tape is something. getting better. I think we need one more loop of a uh, band on here to get that extra stretch. We got blue, way too wimpy. Red, way too wimp wimpy. Something else, we need more, more, more. Green and purple. Maybe double, double them. Um, Oh. All right, that's all the rubber I got. Got some doubled up there, heavy one there. <laughs> so sick of huffing smoke. Yeah. All right. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. Gotta get it up higher. I'm gonna have to carve up some more ammo. I think we should go with some heavier ones. For sure. That's a 
that's got some heft to it. Man, you should never run a chainsaw without boots on. It will destroy your shoes and socks very quickly. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Well, that was good. We still need it up higher though. And we really, really need that smoke to stop. It's almost as if somebody keeps putting wood on the fire. Looks like I'm gonna crank those up a couple more feet and then really lean into it. Whoa, <laughs> that freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> the band came straight back at my face. I didn't have time to decide whether or not there was still a chunk of wood in it. <laughs> oh, it's not too bad. Yeah, still need more distance. That should be better. All right. Okay, it's about seven or eight feet up there. We gotta get some good distance from that. can't decide which weight works works best try a little one oops sure is easy to whiff it <laughs> when you get it right it goes I think it's about time to find a good runway for this and make some bowling pins well, might as well get rid of the rest of these in the buckets. It's a little bit fun, especially when they fly just right. Like that. <laughs> Took a branch off a tree. You know, I think I gotta stick with the lighter ones. We have to cut a few more. Gotta go with the light ones. Chop a few more. Find a down sapling or something to make some bowling in. Now, I'm just walking around trying to find two trees that have a nice open lane. This would be awesome to set bowling pins on. I was just thinking I'd make, start with three, but I could do a full three, two, one. I could do a full six pins right there. How about these guys? It's not as far. It would go probably twice that far, but man, I could get some good power. Just launch it straight at that. <laughs> I think we should start with that. See how much damage we can do. If it seems too close, then I'll move it. I'll probably end up moving it anyway, because there's one special place I'd like to put it eventually. Here are some bowling pins. You're supposed to make bowling pins out of cedar, right? Good. What do you think? 20? 20 inches, maybe? Cut them straight enough. Yeah. Yeah.
Maybe it doesn't need to be that high. Hmm. Maybe I'll start without the ladder. I chopped some of these up into smaller pieces too so they travel a little faster. I'd still kind of like to do something real big and heavy, but let's see what kind of damage this thing does. If I can even get it to launch. Maybe these biscuits weren't the way to go. Hmm. Why was this working before and it's not now? Maybe the biscuits aren't the thing. That's the thing. I figured it out. Just have to have the right size of ammo. And it's not every time. Uh, four to five times, just perfect. Got a little bit longer pieces so they don't tumble and spill out of there. out of six. That's not bad. I didn't even see you go down. You all right? You okay? You look fine. Oh, I can I can get that last one in the next shot. He's getting good, folks. He's getting real good. And, you know, my parents thought I wasn't an athlete. <laughs> I mean, come on. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if you could see it from there, but that was a four. First shot. You guys should uh, seriously try making one of these. This is incredibly fun. And who really uses exercise bands anyway? There it is. <laughs> oh, good stuff. Oh, it's such a such a good noise too. Sound like real bowling pins. There it is. <laughs> Man. Boom! <laughs> Strike. <laughs> oh, this is a little bit too much fun. <laughs> I think I need to eat some dinner. I don't even think I ate lunch today. <sighs> Three days later, and it's even more fun. <laughs> I'm getting pretty good too. I mean, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty good. I think, uh, I think this thing's getting moved up to the sky deck. I got to take some time and clear a, a path down the trail. There's one trail you could see straight down for like two or 300 yards, but I'd like to be able to lob these starting at 15 feet up and make some bigger bowling pins down there. So I just got to clear those trees out and then make some kind of upright supports that'll take the pressure of this thing and we're all set. That'll be it for a, a future video. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.